do you feel pressure from family who assume that every character, every, every novel is a, a fictionalized autobiography? Yeah. The people who are closest to me know that that is not true. Um, my brother said, I know that mom didn't really say that, but it sounds exactly like what she would have said. There are some things taken directly from what she I recorded it and I put that in there, like her definition of Chinese mahjong and Jewish mahjong. Those are exactly her words. But members of my family and very close friends, um, either they know that it's fiction, the members of the Real Joyla Club, they know it's fiction, or they claim that they are the character. Oh. Proudly will tell people, I am this character, when they are not. But they proudly say, I am so and so. Um, I've never had an objection to anything that I've written except with this latest book. And that is because it was inspired by a photograph of my grandmother and another one that I found that suggested my grandmother might have been a courtesan. She definitely was a concubine, and, and that is not um, a sh as much of a shameful thing as a, a one of uh, a victim. You know, she was a victim of society. But for some reason, people think that a courtesan was a personal choice, and it was not. Uh, many of the girls who were forced to become courtesans had been kidnapped, yes. sold. Uh, so their fate, in that sense, is just as difficult, as demeaning as that of a concubine. There is a stigma, however, associated with anyone who is in the sex trade. And my family in China was aghast to think I would even think that of my grandmother. The relatives on the, uh, you know, the U.S. side, they were curious. They were fascinated. They, and I said to them, I have no proof. I just have these photographs and other things. But I would never claim with 100% certitude that she had been one, unless I had a document that had her name and had her registered as one. Um, it is such a serious thing to say, um, and, and I recognize it. On the other hand, because it was uh, it illuminated who she was, just to see her in those clothes, whether she was or not, it countered this family myth that she had been traditional, old-fashioned, and quiet. And when I saw her in those, well, I knew what those clothes meant. I said, yes, she was not those things. I am not those things. My mother was not those things. How could she have been? Of course she wasn't. And suddenly she became more real. And in my mind, I, I felt that if... I, it, that she would say, yes, you've discovered me finally. Here I am. And so I wanted to um, just know more about that life. If that had been her life, I wanted to know what that was about. Now, the book is not about her. The characters very clearly could not be her. But it's that world that I entered into for that reason.